Hello, Study Buddies! Welcome back to Study Buddy PH, your learning partner every day. I'm so happy to see you here again, ready to learn and explore new things in science. Today, I want you to prepare your bright minds and curious hearts because we have an exciting lesson ahead that you can use in your daily life. Remember, every time you click on this video, you're taking one step closer to your dreams and becoming the best version of yourself. So sit back, relax, and let's make learning fun and meaningful today. Here's a quick question for you, which is heavier. This pencil or this bag of rice? Of course, it's obvious, right? But do you know how to measure exactly how much heavier it is? And what if I tell you? Measuring these correctly can actually save lives in hospitals, cook delicious food, and even help scientists discover new things. Today, let's unlock the power of measurement units in science. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify units used to measure mass and temperature, use these units in simple science activities, measure mass and temperature accurately using a weighing scale and thermometer, Let's recall. Last week, you learned about measuring tools. Tell me in the comments, which tool measures length, which one measures mass, and which one measures temperature? Write your answers now before we continue. Type your answer below. I have here two boxes. They look exactly the same, but which one is heavier? Hmm, this one feels heavier, but how can I be sure? That's right, by measuring its mass. All right, grade five learners, let's dive deeper into our lesson today. What is mass? Mass is the amount of matter in an object. It tells us how heavy or light something is. Even if two things look the same size, like our two boxes earlier, their mass can be different depending on what's inside. What units do we use to measure mass? Here are the three main units we use for mass in science. 1. Milligram, mg, used for very light or tiny objects. Example. A tablet of medicine might weigh 250 milligrams. Two grams used for small objects we see every day. Example, a pencil weighs about 10 grams. Three kilograms, kg, used for heavier objects. Example, your school bag might weigh three kilograms. Remember, one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. Let's practice converting. If a sack of rice is 50 kilograms, how many grams is that? We multiply 50 by 1,000. 50 kilograms times 1,000 equals 50,000 grams. What is temperature? Temperature tells us how hot or cold something is. When you touch a hot pot, that's high temperature. When you touch ice, that's low temperature. What unit do we use for temperature? In the Philippines, we use degrees Celsius. Examples. Zero degrees Celsius. Water freezes and turns into ice. 100 degrees Celsius. Water boils. Scientists also use degrees Fahrenheit in some countries like the USA and Kelvin K for scientific experiments. But for us in everyday life and science class, degrees Celsius is what we use. Why are units important? Imagine telling someone your body temperature is 37 grams instead of 37 degrees Celsius. That would be confusing, right? Units make our measurements clear, accurate, and understandable. Without them, 
It's like giving an answer without explaining what you mean. Let's test your understanding with these quick questions. Comment your answers below. Great job! Remember, using the right units helps us communicate and understand measurements correctly. Whether we're cooking, weighing things, checking the weather, or doing science experiments. Great job today, learners! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our Science 5 lessons here on Study Buddy PH. See you on our next video. Bye! Now, let's try this activity.